there's this really old video of him doing pad work and he grabs the head of his trainer and just nails the pads over and over again and that headlock is just he spent a lot of time in his fights getting to that position but once he's in it you can see why he was undefeated for so long he wants that to come from the hip but you have to keep your legs like your feet kind of wide and it's like you're on a horse and when he first trained me he instructed me you start with 30 then the next day you do 40, next day 50, next day 60. I basically go up to like 200 per day, um, or I just start doing time. And he was pretty happy with that. But look at his, this is why you train them, is that those knees just don't stop. You turn an opponent into a bag and just go. So he wants everything coming down the center because you can't actually get away from it. And that step back is how you get the power. So it's a straight knee that has a curve at the end, but only if you need it. Like, it'll only curve if you try to get away from it. And he doesn't care what my actual strikes are. He wants to see the energy, the like moving the bag exactly where I want it to be. It's like when you see a dog grab onto a toy and just start like ripping it around. That's the energy that he wants, but all the time. And he has it. Oh, he's gonna kill that bag. Look at his foot positioning. And he knows exactly what those power shots are. Like, he set them up perfectly. It's like the left side is tossing the ball into the air, and then the right side is saying? just swinging that What's bat at it. So, I'm saying Moy Kao can never be tired. And he's like, absolutely. Moy Kao, Moy Kao, It means, like, never run out of gas. And he's saying you have to be powerful, like you have to be strong and have a strong stomach so that when people come to try to knee with you, you're like, fucking try me, man. Yeah, like I'm going to come through everything. So he's talking about how when he was training, he would cry every day. He was tired every day. But then when you go to fight, it's okay. Then you can just rip it out. So there he's talking about his training ethic of being tired all the time is you cry every day that's fine but when you get in the ring two people are tired but you've been there before so you can handle it